president's wife, a federal court of appeals judge, a retired principal and teacher, and a magician all have in common? They're all advocating reading. First Lady Barbara Bush is lending her prestige to a cause close to her heart, the eradication of illiteracy in America. She recently hosted the National Literacy Honors at the White House. Mrs. Bush and the President honored teachers, three new learners, and two corporate supporters of reading programs. The National Literacy Honors recognized tutors and their successful students. For representing so many other new citizens who have come to America determined to learn and succeed, and for sharing this determination with your children and fellow newcomers, you truly deserve a medal, and we are proud to present it to you this evening. Conf congratulations, Evangelina Olea. The President of the United States also set a timetable for some national goals. Last fall, I called the nation's governors together for an education summit, the first of its kind in our history. And we studied the problems of American education, and then we developed our goals. One of them, perhaps the most important, is to help every adult American become literate by the year 2000. If we even come close to our goals, and we will, millions of our fellow Americans will have the tools they need to break out of their isolation, to move out of poverty, to get jobs and keep them, to share the American dream with their children. Reading, literacy, and the need to work together to build a stronger America is broad-based. It involved a former Greenport graduate who is now a U.S. Court of Appeals circuit judge, a former Hudson City School District administrator, a retired teacher, and a Parents' is Reading Partners kickoff assembly that encouraged kids to read. one more of our attempts to get the children in our school to read more and to involve the families in our community with their learning and their reading. That's really the key, isn't it? Yes, that's, that's the whole answer. We're only a small part of it. it. Most of it, it all begins at home and it has, and we look to the parents to support us in our endeavors. What exactly is PARP? Well, it's uh, a national program which encourages parents to read with their children for 10 minutes a day or 15 minutes a day. We do it for 10 days. We give the families about a two-week period. I think it's actually 16 days, and we ask that they complete a form saying that they read with their children on each of 10 nights during the program. And the parents can read with the children, the children can read to the parents, the parents read to them. It can be magazines, it could be a cookbook, it could be any type of reading material appropriate for children. Just read. Just read, read, read. At the Greenport Elementary School, reading has been given top priority for the past five years. Their spring reading campaigns have gained national and statewide recognition for their innovation and success. The Parents' is Reading Partners program now boasts a 90% participation rate as parents and grandparents become more involved with their children as reading partners. Greenport's most distinguished graduate, U.S. Court of Appeals Judge Roger Minor, returned to his former elementary school to help rally the five grades of students and to encourage them to read more at home and at school. His first assignment was Judy Cowell's kindergarten class. Well, you like go, Annie? Until I turn into one. You want to turn into a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> That's That's silly. You want to know? You want to hear about the three Billy Goats Gruff? Yeah! Oh. Oh. 
Oh, who wants Arthur? Not me. Well, I think we got we got a vote here in favor of the billy goats. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats, and the last name of all three was Gruff. Gruff. To make themselves fat, the billy goats Gruff had to go high up the side of a hill where there was plenty of grass. But on the way up the hill, there was a bridge that crossed over a brook, and under the bridge lived a mean, ugly troll. His eyes were as big as saucers, and his nose was as long as a poker. <laughs> the youngest billy goat gruff was the first to cross over the bridge. Trip trap, trip trap, went his feet. Who's that going over my bridge, called the troll. It is I, answered a tiny voice. I am the tiniest of the billy goats gruff. I am going up the hillside, where I will make myself fat. And I am coming up there to gobble you up, roared the troll. Oh, no, don't eat me, begged the little billy goat. I'm much too small. Why not wait a little while until the second billy goat gruff comes along? The distinguished judge has a long history of serving the community as a district attorney, Supreme Court judge, and as a U.S. District Court judge before being appointed to the United States Court of Appeals. Judge Roger Minor was the class valedictorian at the Greenport School. He toured the classes in the school halls with his wife, Jackie, reminiscing about his younger days at Greenport. Oh, it finally looked like that. <laughs> For Judge Minor, the invitation to read in the elementary school was an opportunity for him to promote reading in America. But all of a sudden he saw some lights between the trees. He then discovered a cottage where there was a fire burning on the hearth. How nice it would be to warm oneself before the fire and get a bite of something, he thought. And so he walked toward the cottage. Just then an old woman came toward him. Good evening, said the tramp. Good evening, said the woman, and where do you come from? South of the sun and east of the moon, said the tramp. And now I am on the way home again, for I have been all over the world with the exception of here, he said. You must be a great traveler then, the woman said. What might be your business here? Oh, I want shelter for the night, he said. I thought as much, said the woman, but you may as well get away from here at once, for my place is not an inn, she said. Why is it important for parents to read with their children? Well, I think it's very important uh, today. I think we're having some problems. We're seeing some problems with communication skills and uh, children who enjoy reading and learn how to read and have their parents read to them uh, uh, will find uh, their work uh, much easier. Uh, we have a severe problem, I think, in all parts of society today about communication. I just wrote an article called The Communication Problems in the Legal Profession. We have lawyers who have problem expressing themselves. So I think it's important that uh, basic education uh, teach uh, the reading and writing basic skills. and uh, Those skills will serve people in very good stead in their later years. What have you got to offer one, I'd like to know? He who far and wide does roam. Tubes. And his face to a TV screen. <laughs> and two knobs saying vert and horrors grew where his ears had been. <laughs> the programs like the Greenport Parents as Reading Partners program have grown in success thanks to the continuing effort put forth by Principal George Esposito, Greenport faculty, staff, and members of the community. another kind to much younger children today in Columbia County, federal judge Roger Minor returned to his alma mater, Greenport Elementary School. For a number of years, the school has had a Parents as Reading Partners program. Today, Judge Minor read to kindergarten and fourth grade students. He says he wants to encourage parents to read with their children. He began this session with a poem about a child who always watches television. From the early show to the late, late show and all the shows in between. He watched till his eyes were frozen wide and his bottom grew into his chair and his chin turned into a tuning dial and antenna grew out of his hair. Oh, as many, as many of us know, First Lady Barbara Bush is a strong promoter of literacy. She does not have a TV grow, antenna growing out of her hair and she has a TV special on the subject this coming Sunday.